Jimmy Steve a camp in his chicken pal. Let's see what he has to say. What's he got for us this time? They're probably blu rays. A fish in his crease. It's a guilty pleasure. A fish in his crease. It's a compound measure. A fish in his crease. Shoot the camera. Smile for the world in panorama. He likes to impersonate walk on. Hey everybody, Aficionados Chris here. I don't know if you can see that pin right there, but this is a thing I'm gonna basically do. This is a this is a thing for a couple friends of mine, uh, brony friends of mine, obviously, especially Grace Anderson or Pixie Blossom 2012, Sean Webby, SeanWebcom.com, and many others. Uh, they have requested that I do a video about the concert I went to for Hey Ocean. Uh, people who don't know who Hey Ocean is, uh, Hey Ocean is a independent rock band uh, fronted by Ashley Ball, who is a voice actress on the show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. She plays two characters, Applejack and Rainbow Dash. And uh, the main thing that makes this cool about this concert is this was a brony meet and greet, which, uh, of course, basically means a bunch of bronies in my area of Phoenix, Arizona, uh, some from Tucson as well. Uh, came down to the Hard Rock Cafe to see Hey Ocean perform and basically hang out and have a good time. Now, uh, I had never been to a meet and greet before. I had never done anything socializing like this uh, before, so that was a first. And boy, what a great thing it was. Because uh, I had seen the documentary Bronies, and I was very fascinated by the brony culture. Because I was already a brony, but I'd never been a part of the culture, actually been with other bronies outside of friends on the internet that I talked to through Skype. I've never had personal experience with a group of bronies, so this was the first to experience that. And it was amazing. I can't even describe how great a feeling it was, because what's great about this community, and why I think it's a community that's really misunderstood for a lot of people, is because uh, bronies are just wonderfully sincere people. They're, they're the nicest people. They're the people you want to hang out with. These are people who have been you know, bullied, been considered outcasts of society, not even before things like My Little Pony, you know, uh, liking things that were different from others, or being bullied for being different from others. And they all have the same experience of just being tossed aside, being considered outcasts, and they just come together and they accept you for whatever you are or whoever you are. It doesn't matter to them. And I think everybody should be a little brony, honestly, because uh, it makes the world a nicer place because I made so many new friends just from going to a concert. So it was really great. Uh, it was a great show. Of course, I don't want to forget that I'm talking about a <laughs> concert. It was a phenomenal show. I'm um, a big fan of this band, so not just for the actors, but I was a fan of their music. So they, they were fantastic. It was an amazing show. And one thing that was actually very unique about this one is that uh, there was actually a song where everybody, including myself, started singing along and actually got thrown off for a second and said, oh, I didn't know you guys would sing along. I completely forgot the lyrics for a minute. And so we all laughed and then she had to start the song all over again to remember the lyrics because we threw her off by singing to with her. <laughs> it was pretty interesting. Uh, and of course, one of the coolest things, and I'm actually about to grab it, I don't, you can see it a little bit in the background but i'll grab it for a uh, closer view let me just move you aside pinky that might fall down in a bit so <laughs> be prepared for that uh she was doing autographs which was the cool thing is i have never in my life gotten an autograph in person i have autographs but i've never gotten one in person i've never had the privilege of having something that i bring or purchase signed in person by a person uh, I have autographs over on my wall right there of Ed O'Neill and Hugh Laurie from House, but those are mail aways. I sent a letter and I got one in the mail. That, it's not the same experience. So Ashley Ball has signed my My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 1 DVD. And she has basically made history as the first personal autograph I've ever gotten. Not personalized, of course. It's just her name. But it's the first time I'd ever gotten to go up to a person and have something signed in person. There's nothing quite like it. And the coolest thing is, at this concert, uh, a tradition, every time I've gone to a rock concert, I wear a rock t-shirt. Like of a band, Pink Floyd, uh, ACDC, something like that. There's actually pictures of me uh, meeting some bands where I'm wearing a rock shirt. Because it seems appropriate to wear a rock t-shirt at a rock concert, don't you think? Of course, naturally, since there were mostly bronies here, everybody was wearing pony shirts. I was wearing a Pink Floyd t-shirt, uh, specifically Wish You Were Here with the uh, handshake and the guy on fire. 
The coolest thing was when I got up to Ashley Ball at the table. And one thing I should mention here, I had not eaten a single thing that entire day. And so mix that with the fact that I'm wearing shorts and it's freezing and I'm about to meet Ashley Ball. You mix these three things together, I'm shaking like Michael J. Fox, basically. So I finally get up to her. I place a DVD on the table. The first thing she does is she compliments my shirt. She says, oh, I like your shirt. And I had been in line for a long time, so I could hear everything she was saying. She never complimented anyone else's T-shirt. So that just made me real, feel real special that, you know, obviously because everybody else wearing pony shirts, obviously with everyone else wearing pony T-shirts, I'm the only one at a rock concert wearing a rock T-shirt. <laughs> so that was really cool because she could have just signed a DVD and said next. But no, she was a sweet, sincere one. Oh, she was so nice. I can't even get over how nice she was because, you know, she signed my DVD, but she complimented my T-shirt. She was wonderful. And Ashley, if you're watching this, I doubt it. But Ashley, if you're watching this, thank you because you've made history as my first autograph ever. The one that I consider an autograph, an official autograph. So thank you, Ashley, for doing that for me. Thank you, Ashley, for putting on a great show. And I hope to see many more shows if you ever come back to Arizona. So that's all I really have to say about my experience with the Brony Culture and the Hey Ocean Concert and Ashley Ball and all these unique first-time things for me. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.